FantasyAnime.com Hello, this is the webmaster of FantasyAnime.com. So one of the features that my website offers is that every RPG that I have shrined has a complete collection of periodical game saves, meaning you can continue an RPG at any significant point in the game. This is so that if your computer crashes or for any other reason you lose your saved position in an RPG, thanks to my saves, you can continue pretty much where you left off. Isn't that great? Anyway, in this tutorial, I will precisely show you how to use the Genesis game saves that are available in my FantasyAnime.com for both Kega Fusion and Gens GS. For this tutorial, I will be using the original Shining Force ROM, and I have here one of my Shining Force saves. So the first step is to remove the save from the zip file. Now, I have WinRAR installed, so your save files won't quite open up like this with this pop-up. By default, Windows uses compressed folders, and compressed folders work the exact same way as a regular folder does. So you can just cut or copy over the save files from the Windows compressed folder. Now, for all of the Genesis game saves that I offer in my fantasyenemy.com, I offer two different formats. The GSO file, which is a gens save state file and an SRM file, which is the, the actual internal game save. It stands for saved RAM. Um, in this case, we'll be using the gens save state file. Even though this is Kega Fusion, Kega Fusion supports save states from gens. So go ahead and drag that out of your zip file. Oh, and also, you may not be seeing the GSO file extension on this save state file because by default Windows hides file extensions so to enable the file extension press the alt key on your keyboard and click on tools click on folder options and click on the view tab and look in advanced settings and look at hide extensions for known file types if there is a check there remove that check and click on apply and OK and you should see the GSO file extension. And now we need to rename this save state to the exact name as the ROM. So to do that, I'm going to pretend to rename the Shining Force ROM, just so that I can right click and copy its exact file name. And then I'm going to rename the save state file. And I am pasting the exact file name as the Shining Force ROM. So now to test it out and see if it works. So I'm opening up Kega Fusion, going to File, Load Genesis 32X ROM, opening up Shining Force. It's opened. Now to open the save state, I'm going to File, Load State As, loading the GSO file. And there we go! It works! And now for gens. So here is my gens folder. Uh, particularly, I'm using gens gs. Uh, there are multiple variations of gens, so you might have a different version, but they're all pretty much the same thing. So now I'm going to repeat the same exact steps that I took for Kegafusion. I am bringing out the save state file. I am renaming it with the exact same file name as the Shining Force ROM. There we go. They have the exact same file name. Now I am opening up Gens. I'm going to open the Shining Force ROM. And it's loaded. Now to load the state. I'm going to load state. GSO. There we go! Perfect! So that's how you load game saves. And that concludes my tutorial on using the Genesis game saves available in my fantasyanime.com. If you have any further questions, the fastest way to reach me is to contact me via fantasyanime.com when you click on contact. If you message me here on YouTube, you may not get a prompt response. Anyway, enjoy the saves! Yay!